Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDC Joe video. Today, guys, I'm going to be looking at my Vika Volt Butterfree deck. That got a lot of people to concede today. The nice thing about this Vika Volt Butterfree deck is it reminds me a lot of the old Seismitoad EX decks. This is a very annoying deck to play against. So the whole idea is we are going to attack with Vika Volt's attack, Paralyzing Bolt, which for two energy does 50 damage and your opponent cannot play any items from their hand. So we item lock them. But on top of that, we hit them with Butterfree. Butterfree's ability allows you when you play it from hand um, to one of your Pokemon, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon burned, confused, and poisoned. Having them be confused while under item lock can be very annoying because then they don't have access to switch an air balloon. And if they try to retreat, we do play four copies of Galar Mine in the deck to make it harder for them to move out of the active spot. This deck can be super annoying to play against, and that is what we're going to be trying to work with today. I did get a lot of people to concede in today's video. Believe me, this deck can be a bit of a nightmare to play against because I would not want to be on the receiving end of this Vega Volt deck. So yeah, for the video, course, show to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe codes, make sure to go get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are ever looking for any set codes, like Fusion Strike, of course, or Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Celebrations, or you're looking for IRL Pokemon TCG singles, Card Cavern's got them too. Anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, make sure to use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cavern. So shout out to Card Cavern, check them out, and be sure to use code LDF if you get any codes. All right, now let's take a look at the Vigavolt list that I'm rocking with. Um, so yeah, Vigavolt Butterfree, very much like Vika Toad or Seismitoad a little bit uh, with the whole laser combo. Now, I'm not playing energy removal in here. It's kind of more just like a be annoying to the opponent and make them stall in the active spot because they're confused. Um, the only problem I have with this deck, honestly, is Vigavolt just is kind of a, a bad attacker by itself. Like, doing two for 50 isn't bad. When you have Butterfree, Butterfree also increases the damage output with the burn and the poison. And Confusion flips, too, if they get tails. The problem is 50 damage is very under underwhelming. However, thankfully, we have super zap cannon which can be a great way to take something out in the active spot doing 190 damage and can discard two energy from it which is very powerful um the other issue i have vigavolt is it does need two energy to attack i considered maybe running melanie or flaffy in this deck to make it easier to build up our vigavolts because a two energy attack is not the you know not the funnest sometimes you can buy some time with butterfree now if you're wondering why we got the butterfree we can actually put into play in one turn with metapod and caterpie caterpie and metapod allow you to play it down the turn you play it so you can bench caterpie and then you can evolve it right into metapod if you have it and then you can evolve it straight enough butterfree if you have all of that in your hand so it's a very powerful combo there and we can reuse that combo with scoop of net of course if we want to keep spamming the lock other things i'd probably add to the deck would be like more switches sometimes your opponent can try to get around your item lock by bossing something on the bench and then if you can't move it then uh not good because you don't get your item lock back up and that can be very devastating i am playing three boss boss is really good in here this is one of the strategies versus mu v max is to boss a genesect and then item lock it with paralyzing bolt and then hope they can't retreat it with a galar mine in play also and that's kind of our way to beat mu mu is tricky because yes mu's deck is made up of like 70 percent item cards which is very good for vika bolt the problem is mu has a lot of traps it can't be um can be affected by Butterfree if they have a Fusion Strike energy on. Fusion Strike energy actually prevents Butterfree's ability from affecting the Pokemon with the Fusion Strike energy on, which is very annoying. And on top of that, Mew has a free retreat cost, which means if you don't have mine in play, then they can just retreat out of the thing anyways, even if they don't have a Fusion Strike energy on. So Mew is just not a good matchup unless you boss your Genesex, which is why we're playing a heavy count of boss. And I got the Bird Keeper, just another switching card to have, and it draws you cards. It's like best of both worlds. Raihan's good too if you ever need to get an extra energy on Vigavolt if they knock it out out of nowhere, and you need to go back to Paralyzing Bolt. That's the list. Let's go try it out and see in action. Okay, we won the coin flip, which is good. We do want to go first with this deck because of how good the turn two item lock can be. The only problem is... We need the game to actually give me a Vigavolt plus an energy in our starting hand, which is hard to do. We'll see if we're playing against a Shadow Rider deck. Judging from the Mewtwo deck box, we are. Okay, we do get Vigavolt. We do get energy. That's all I wanted to see. Now I just need to get the bugs. You get the butterfly family. Now, we'll see what we're playing against. I'm tempted to play Crobat before I attach the energy, though. I don't know. Maybe not. Nah, it doesn't really matter. Go here. Go here. I'll just pass. I'll save the stadium in case they play like Old Cemetery or something. Actually, item locking Articuno isn't that bad, to be honest. We'll see what they do here. We'll see what they do. Looks like they are playing a Shadow Rider deck. Yep, it's Shadow Rider with Mewtwo V Union, it looks like. Um, is that a good matchup? I don't know. I forget what Mewtwo V Union's ability is. I know it has an ability. I don't think it stops Butterfree, though. Item locking this Articuno isn't bad. Item locking might just be really good in general. 
Mewtwo can do 300 damage, though. Now, this might be a tough matchup, actually. We'll see. As long as we just draw well, we should be okay. Yeah, as long as we draw well, we'll be fine. We'll see what they end up doing here. Um, best top deck? Mm, I don't know what the best top deck would be. I don't really want to do Butterfree, but if we can go Metapod Butterfree here, that's not terrible. I wouldn't mind using it here. Kind of wish I played Path over Mine, but Mine, I feel like it's just better overall. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Item locking them is going to be very important here. Assuming we actually find an energy plus a supporter. Okay, we got the energy. All I care about. We'll do this. We Crobat for three. Let's see if we can find anything else to help us. We do get a Marnie, which is very good. Marnie plus item lock is very powerful. Okay. And then I can evolution incense here, grab another metapod. And then I'll probably just pass for now. I don't really want to play the quick ball. I could play Butterfree now. That's right, I'm locking them. This thing will be stuck. So I can chip away at it. Yeah, we'll go Butterfree now. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Just get that extra thing on them, and then we'll just paralyzing bolt them for 50. Maybe, I don't know. We could have knocked them out with Super Zap Cannon next turn, too, but then I break the item lock. I think I want to keep the item lock alive as long as I can. This would be a good matchup to have Path the Peak in the deck, but again, I don't play Path, I play Mine, because Mine is a little bit better with Butterfree overall. See a Mew come down, yo. That thing actually can take a hit from Super or Paralyzing Bolt, unless I Butterfree them, but it's a bit of a waste of my Butterfree. The Articuno should be stuck, though. Because my opponent can't really move it right now because of the uh, item lock plus mine. So, like, they try to attach twice. Mine's in play. They can't play air balloon. They can't play switch. So, they actually started with a fairly decent card for us. Now, we just have to just find another supporter. Oh, they concede the match. They don't want to play it out. They just concede out of fear. All right, I'll take it. A dub is a dub. And you know what? When you're playing a deck this annoying, sometimes you do get wins because your opponent just doesn't want to play against you. And that does count. Okay, going first here. In this match, we are going to take a mulligan on our first turn, or our first hit. But we do start with a pretty fine hand. You know, Vigavolt, Energy, Quick Ball, a few supporters. Not bad. I did mulligan a couple times, though, so my opponent's going to get a few more cards, which is not ideal. As long as they're not playing Energy Removal, though, we're fine. I'm probably going to play the Basic Lightning, though, and not the Speed Lightning, in case they do play Fan. Not even a Marnie, though, in this hand is a little awkward. Horos. What the heck? I get rid of the basic lightning, grab Caterpie, and then we will bench it. Looks like they're playing a single strike deck. They could play Urshifu, which is not what we want to see. This is the only reason this deck isn't great, is because Urshifu kind of bodies you. We can't do anything about that. We see a great ball getting played. I imagine they're going to get a lot set up here. They do play Hitmonchan. That is a fighting type, but that doesn't really... Do a whole lot of damage to me. So it's not even a... Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. We'll see how it goes. The Tauros might be a bit of annoying. Annoying. We actually should confuse it. Just so we don't walk into a Raging Bull. Hmm. Kind of wish I had a Marnie though. If we can draw a Marnie, that would be great. I would like to draw a Marnie. I don't really want to research, to be honest. Oh, they're going to boss my Caterpie. They're just going to pass. Okay, no knockout. That's good. They could have KO'd my Caterpie here. Okay, let's see if we get anything good. It looks like we're not the research. It's fine, though. Can't really do much about that. I guess I could Crobat try to dig a little bit. Not really not really concerned about that, though. I don't want to draw more cards that, like, I don't want to discard. So, whatever. Let's just do that. Yeah. Well, we didn't get Butterfree, which is a little awkward. Would have liked to have seen a Butterfree here. Fine, though. We can just go here, here, and then I can Paralyzing Bolt them for 50. I mean, they don't have any Hound Hours down. I mean, they might be able to Raging Bull me if they have a Twinergy. They most likely do, but, I mean, we have to attack, right? Because now we can two-shot them if we find Butterfree. There's really no reason not to attack them. It's not like they can KO me anyways, you know? Vigable won't get KO'd here. They're just going to Marnie next turn, and then hope that Marnie gives us, like, stuff. They are playing Hound Doom. They are item locked, so they can no longer play items. Oh, no, they're playing Lycanroc. Not good. And they're just going to research their entire hand away. Yikes. They are playing a Lycanroc. Okay, that's very bad, actually. That does let them... It gives them a good fighting Pokemon to attack me with. Oh, my gosh. I could boss it. I could boss KO it here. I think I'm going to have to do. I don't want them to get that thing in play. 
Like that lichen rock. No, 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 no. No lichen rock for you, buddy. No thanks. Not today. Then this. Who we got? What am I getting Galar mine? I don't want them to get too many towers off. But yeah, we got to keep that in lock up. But I am gladly going to kill that rock rock there. Yeah, that thing. Lichen rock is like the only threat, to be honest, that's facing us right now. Tauros I'm not really worried about. Lichen rock, yes, I am worried about. We're going to have to probably bird keep or Marnie next turn. Probably Marnie. I just need to make sure I'm keeping up the butterfly. They can attack here. They can take down. They have to they confuse themselves and take 30 damage. They kind of do me a favor, which is kind of cool. They play Flannery. Good thing they didn't play that, actually. Yeah, good thing they didn't play that. Okay, take down. Hits me for 120. Hmm. Oh, no, they don't confuse. Right, never mind. What am I saying? My bad. They don't actually confuse me. All right, you know what? We'll Crobat. I'll just dig. I need to get some stuff. Like, net would be good. Or my other butterfree. No, we get a bunch of junk. Hmm. Not a good... That was a pretty bad crub. I just gave a bunch of supporters. That's not what I'm looking for. All right, let's Marnie. And... Don't get energy. And we also don't get a scoop up net. Or my other butterfree. This is very awkward. That was a terrible Marnie. And plus we had Crobat to assist us. That's that's unfortunate. Just give him Crobat, I guess. Damn it, bro. Dude, that is so annoying. We'll have to Marnie them again. Thankfully, they can't kill my Crobat here with Tauros. They could have a boss. Now they're not item locked anymore, right? So that's like the issue. Now they're no longer under item lock. Which kind of sucks. There's a Lycan Rock. Yep, that's not good. I have to get that. I mean, I can boss confuse it. As long as they only have, like, one left. I'm not really too concerned about it. And they have a research. I guess my item lock wouldn't have done too much. They had research plus Lycan Rock, but fine. It's not good, though. I need to I need to make sure I can take out that Lycan Rock, though, very soon. Whiffing the energy there is just so bad, though. I guess they could kill my Vigable by retreating the Tauros, but they're going to lose a lot of energy in the process. And they are down one urn. That might not be the greatest play for my opponent to do. Actually, you know what? I would prefer if they killed me with Lycanroc here because then I can go into Vigavolt and then try to get the Butterfree off again on the Lycanroc. So I actually would prefer if they do go into that. No, they just take down. Damn it, dude. You're supposed to go Lycanroc. Hmm. Okay, there's energy. Go back into Vigavolt. Marnie. Let me just find Net or something here and that'd be good. Nope, but we got Butterfree back. That's all that matters. Gallermine too, which is pretty good. So grab Butterfree. And then I'll Gallermine. Play the Butterfree. We can kill the Tauros. They're gonna knock me out Lycanroc. Well, actually, I don't know. They're under item lock. You know, they're down a lot of energy. They might not find an energy here. We'll see. They could whiff an energy. They're probably not going to, but they go Lycanroc. I'm gonna try to find a scoop up net here. Or a way to draw cards. And then I can go net, knock out Lycanroc, or hit the Lycanroc and confuse it in the process, and then hope for the best. Well, our hand is, uh, well, I mean, we need energy. We have it. <laughs> At least we have speed energy, which draws us cards, which is a bit of a saving grace right now. Considering we're in top deck mode. So let's see. They could have energy in their deck because they have Houndoom in play. We're basically hoping they don't play two Rock Rock. And I'm also hoping my, my item lock prevents them from being able to bench another Lycan Rock. Or another Rock Rock. Because they can't do Rod, right? If they, if they play Rod, they can't play it. Do they have an energy? They have a four card hand. They have a Bruno. Oh, no. They have the Bruno. They only draw four cards, though, because we did kill them with poison. But, oh my god, my opponent still finds the energy. It wouldn't have mattered, though, because it looks like they had Houndoom anyways. So now, yeah, we have to we have to Butterfree them. Flat out, if we don't Butterfree here or find Raihan for next turn, we basically... Well, I could Super Zap Cannon them, but if I don't... No, if I don't get... If I don't get the Scuba Net or a way to draw cards, we're screwed. Maybe I should have promoted the other Vega Bolt, actually, in case we get Perky. We got Marnie. We'll play Marnie. All right, come on. We need a scoop up net. There we go. We got it. I mean, they could flip heads on the attack, obviously, too. We didn't get Raihan off of that, so we'll see. <laughs> if they knock me out, I don't know what to tell you. That's just not going to be good. But we'll see. There's a chance they don't get me here. So let's play the Butterfree. We just pray they don't knock me out. That's uh, not much I can do about that. We just hope they don't get a KO here. Paralyzing Bolt for 50. Here we go. We have to hope to survive the turn. If they don't knock me out, we're chilling. 
If they don't kill me, we're chilling, because then we can knock them out, and then we'll see where that takes us. Especially because they can't play Urn of Vitality. We have to draw Raihan if they KO me here. Unfortunately, that Marnie did not give me my last Raihan, so... We need Vigavolt to survive the turn. Really badly. Like, if Vigavolt dies, we're screwed. We are screwed. They have our research. Yikes. I mean, we can only send in Butterfree, but I don't want to break the item lock. Let's go! And that should be that. And they actually died of poison, too. Forgot about that. All right, let's go. And all right, we take our prize. We got a Scoobnet, which is a beautiful prize. Okay. Now we're in the driver's seat right now, I want to say. Um, they're down a lot of supporters now, too. So that's good. We'll play that, and then I'll... I can boss. I can kill the more Peko. Take a prize. Yeah, why not? Sure. Just kill the more Peko. Just get an easy prize. Doesn't seem too bad. That's actually a, an attacker they could use. And we'll see if we can win from here. They bench the Rockruff. We'll just boss knock it out again. They could play another Flannery, but they seem to be playing that Lantern card, which is an item, so they can't play that either. They could play Twin Energy to attack with Tauros, I guess. But it's not going to KO me. And then we just Butterfree the Tauros. Oh, they're going to boss. That's fine. I got Bird Keeper. This is why I do play a one of Bird Keeper in the deck. As you can see, it's very helpful in a scenario like this. I guess I could have another boss. We have to watch out. And then I'll just KO them, I guess. Seems good. Kind of wish I had a Marnie, though, to be honest. Wouldn't mind doing Marnie here, too, but it's fine. I'll hold the energy, because we can't move next turn if they do boss me, so I need to be ready. I need to just spread the energy out. We're in a good spot, though, because at this point, we need to take one prize to win, so... Take out Tauros. We'll see what our prize gives me. Cape of Toughness. All right, well, we'll see what happens next. How many bosses they have left? They're down two boss. They might not play three. I don't know if they have room for three. What? No fat chance, bro. Bring in Butterfree. No, they bring, okay, they're bringing Vika Bolt, though. So we can't attack here. I can't attach energy. So now they can do Urn again. They definitely have one. That's annoying they actually do happen to play three bosses orders. Go figure. But that's fine. Because we can attack next turn. And they can't stop me. Himonchan does not do a lot of damage. It, it cannot knock out Vika Volt. Like, it's not going to KO me. It can do a bit of damage, but not a whole lot. And then next turn, I just attach. Boss, Scoo of Net, KO the Hound Hour, potentially. Unless they play Rod here. As long as they bench, like, a low HP Pokemon, we should be okay. Yeah, see, they do play Rod. See, this is why we needed to keep that in luck up. That is really annoying that they do play three boss. Because that did kind of screw me over because I do play the mine. But I guess it wouldn't matter because I can't move Vika Bolt anyways. But it, it is annoying that they happen to actually play three bosses order. Like, go figure. They actually do play three boss. What a insane card. But we should be okay to win. Again, as long as there's a Pokemon in play that has low HP that we can knock out with Vika Bolt and Butterfree combined, should be able to stop my opponent here. I'll say Marnie me, which they haven't played yet, but they've already bossed, so it wouldn't matter. Okay, there, well, yep, there they go. That would do it. I mean, that will do it. They just bench a bunch of Hound Hours. That will very easily die to Vika Bolt. Even if they kill the active, right? We have another Vika Bolt anyway, so. It's pretty hard for my opponent to win this. Their best bet would be to try to stall me out and deck me out. Which almost worked. Even if they do kill me, yeah, it doesn't matter. If they not. Even if they do get a knockout somehow. Both straight punch doing 40, 60, 80. They can do like 160 damage. I don't know. Oh. Okay, never mind. They... Might actually KO me. No, they they actually will KO me with a hit on Chan. But they have to... Won't matter. If they KO me... Yeah. Oh, that... Wait, clean hit knocks me out? Wait, really? I didn't bother doing the math. I guess so. Okay, wow. That is GG, so... We have boss plus uh, Vika Bolt. So, or... Better for you. I guess I got closer than we thought. I mean, they just had that one turn where they bossed all me, though. That's all you really need. But we're just gonna boss this. Net the Butterfree. Drop the Butterfree back down. Knock it out. We got a little lucky, not gonna lie. A little bit lucky. We did it. We're able to knock out that Lycan Rock and take out that Rock Ruff early on. But that's why I did take out the Rock Ruff so early, because I knew that it was going to be a very big threat. I also would have went with Paralyzing Bolt or Super Zap Cannon too, I guess, but might as well item lock him because it's cooler. The cooler way to win. Yeah, it sucks I had to play the three boss there. Because <laughs> that did kind of throw a wrench in our strategy a little bit, but it, in the end, we got him anyways. That's all that matters. And we get a present box. Oh, 25 coins. Okay, we're gonna go first again. We'll take it. Or up against a Liney deck. Could be a Flaffy deck. We'll have to see. Alright. We got a Vigavolt plus energy. Basically, all we want to see in our starting hand is Vigavolt plus energy. So, I'm happy. 
We'll see we're playing again. So it might be a bolt on deck. Could be Tapu Coco. Hmm. We'll see though. Luxray. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. We'll pop Butterfree away. Caterpie. And then we'll pass. I think it's a Luxray. Another single prize deck. Hmm. Huh. I don't know why they're playing Trubbish though. Hmm. Item lock is good though because they can't play their items, right? So we'll see. No, they are playing Bolt Hunt. All right, no, they are actually playing the dog after all. I see we draw. We can Bolt again's good. We'll do this. Maybe I actually I kind of regret getting the Butterfree there. Marnie item lock. I was hoping to get Metapod there so I could knock out the Shinx, but whatever. Yeah, I didn't get it. Hmm. Evil Incense, grab Metapod, and then we'll Paralyzing Bolt. We can one-shot the uh, Bolt Hunt, actually, with uh, par Super Zap Cannon plus Butterfree, so we do have that available to us. That is one little thing we can do in this matchup, is KO the Bolt Hunt with our Super Zap Cannon. We won't item lock them, but we can do that, and they actually pass. They don't retreat, which is interesting. Let's do Capture Energy, another Caterpie. I have a few options. I could bring in Trubbish. I could just knock out the Shinx here. I could bring in the other Bolt Hunt. I think we just KO the Shinx, right? Yeah. Also, I'll probably just research while I'm at it. I'll just KO Shinx. And do research. Try to draw into more stuff. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Do this. Grab Metapod. Knock out the Shinx. They're item locked. So we'll see where that takes them. We're probably going to have to break the item lock because I do want to kill the Bolt Hunt here with Super Zap Cannon. I think that's a fine play to do because it just removes their threat off the board. And then we can play the Butterfree down. Yeah, knock it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with knocking out the Bolt Hunt here. I'm cool with killing the Bolt Hunt. I mean, their setup is weak anyway, so it's like I don't really care if they don't have items. They get a third Bolt Hunt down. They electrify. Interesting. So yeah, we're going to kill the Bolton. I'm cool with that. And then they attack again. I could just paralyze the Bolt again. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we got a net. All right. So yeah, we're going to take out the Bolton here. And then... Yeah, that seems fine to me. I'll hold the hand to the Super Zap Cannon. Take this doggy out. And then we'll see what happens next turn. Probably just do Bird Keeper next turn. All right. Yeah, bye-bye Bolton. Take our two prizes. If they go both on VMAX, which they could be playing, then all we have to do is knock out that to win the game. Cape is a good prize. Level ball. Okay, cool. Cape is really good, though, because if they are playing both on VMAX, they can't one-shot me as easily. Both on VMAX has an attack that is 230, I think. No, they just electrify again. All right, I can't knock about again, but I can... Paralyzing Bolt. Could boss that. Paral oh, I need an energy, though. I don't have, so I can't do that. All right, well, Bird Keeper and a Butterfree... With an energy, oh no. Yikes, that's a bad whiff. Protect the Butterfree. Damn, that's a big whiff. Sacrifice Caterpie, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caterpie. You gotta be sacrificed for the greater good. Burn this. Damn, the energy whiff sucks. Four in the deck. They kill Caterpie, I can go Raihan. Oh, they scooped the game anyways. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever, we'll take it. Another dub is a dub. I guess they just, they can't handle the Vega Bolt. All right, we lost the coin flip again. Hmm. Oh, we're going first though. We're up against Mew, potentially. Maybe that's why they maybe go first. We should open Caterpie. Mew is tricky though, because I'm pretty sure Fusion Strike energy prevents me from uh, confusing them. And on top of that, they also have a free retreat cost. So it's like, not great, but... Bossy and the Genesex, on the other hand, is going to be one of our ways to win. Yeah, to me, of course it is. <laughs> what else would it have been? I guess I could confuse the Meloetta now. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. I should have level ball for Caterpie, actually. Oops. Yeah, no, I misplayed there. I should have went level ball for Caterpie. Now I'll confuse the Meloetta. Fine. And then we'll Evo Incense. Two boss. Yikes, only two. 
I think our win con has to be like to boss the uh boss Genesect. Again, like Mew is beatable, but that's that's the way we beat him. It's because the problem is Mew is just they're very anti gen or vegable because of the free retreat cost and the fusion strike energy. It means that I can't butter free them, which is really unfortunate and frustrating. If only they didn't give Mew so many friggin' tools. But yeah, we can prevent them from potentially having a Melodas Echo Donk here by confusing them, which is fine by me. I can come in and paralyze and bolt them. Knock them out. I mean, item locking Mew is still good, especially if my opponent's setup is very weak here. Item locking them is actually very powerful, considering a majority of their deck is made up of items. Like, Mew basically is like 70% items, or like 30% items. Okay, they do fail the attack, which is good. And they don't get any Pokemon, all right. Can I draw a Scoobnet here? Or switch? No, we do speed, but they could seed. All right, another quick dub, but I'll take it because nobody likes playing against Mew and making Mew concede the match is always a good feeling. Okay, we won the coin flip, so we don't want it this time. We lost that last coin flip there against that Mew deck, so it's always good to win the coin flip. But I guess they made me go first. All right, but we are going to take a mulligan. My opponent does have water in their deck, which water is fine for us because we are a lightning-based deck after all. So we'll see what kind of water deck it is. Could be Suicune, could be Ice Rider. They have lightning in the deck, though. I actually don't know what to expect. I actually don't know what to expect. Okay. So yeah, we're going to take a mulligan. That's fine, though. As long as we can draw well, it's not too bad. We just need to make sure... We always just want to make sure we have Vigable plus energy. And we're fine. Kind of want to play 11 energy in the deck, to be honest, just to make it even easier to start with the Vigable energy. But it's, like, too much at that point. Because you need to play other cards, too, to support your kind of strategy, you know? Yeah, there we go. Vigable energy plus... Mulligan twice. That's not too bad, I guess. We have Marnie, too, so that's good. Now, I can quick ball for Caterpie here. I'll probably do. We'll see what we're playing against. Jolteon. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Jolteon could be tough. I don't know. Maybe they don't get the elemental badge down. We can item lock him here. The problem with Jolteon is they have a free retreat cost. Which is pretty annoying. I don't know. They have a good start, probably. Their hand is huge. Ah, Jolteon. Go away. Manaphy, hurry up and come out. It's technically buffs if we have Manaphy. They can't one-shot Butterfree, though. Unless they go Goon plus Quick Shooting Ping. Not too bad. I didn't play the Speed Lighting, by the way, because I don't want to make it so that we uh, get Fan of Waves. A lot of Jolteon play Fan. Yeah, okay, that's what I was hoping for. If they wouldn't do anything else. All right, this gives me some Hopium Copium. That's a Marnie. A lot of supporters to the bottom, so we're going to need research. I need to find Galarmine, too, to get rid of that path. Eh, it's not the worst hand ever. Grab Metapod. Don't really need to do that. I'll bench Caterpie. Just item lock, knock him out. They have a four card hand and their item lock, and they cannot play their elemental badge. Let's see where this takes us. Get a Raihan. Okay, cool. They don't evolve, too. We can knock him out Paralyte or Super Zap Cannon, which is fine. Okay, they do get the Jolteon. Do they have anything else? Again, they're item locked, and they have no shady dealings in play. And they can... Okay, well... Never mind. Aw, oh, dude. If they didn't draw the research, they would have had a dead hand for a turn. I need to see it. Oh, they found the energy and the goon. What? Yeah, that's fine. I can item lock him here. And I can... I need to find cape. Well, they can't scoop him in it, actually. So I guess it's hard for them to kill me. Grab Metapod. You just need to go for the little Butterfree combo. I need to find Galarmine. Honestly, I think I'm going to research. I'm going to research. Yeah, it's fine. Both my Rihon, so so be it. Make sure we get Butterfree in mine. There we go. Got the Butterfree. I mean, they have Shady Dealings, but they can't find Shady Dealings. So the difference from them having Shady Dealings is being able to find it. Probably got to play Crobat here, too. Look ball this away. Grab Crobat. I don't like playing it down this matchup, but I kind of I need to because I need to draw more cards. This hand sucks. Need to make sure we get like a V-Volt energy for next turn. They could knock me out. If they have another goon and they attack me, they can KO me, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We're never gonna unevolve the Butterfree until we want to use it again. So this is item lock. I can knock out Super Zap Cannon next turn and then see where that takes us. I mean this matchup is a little tough. If only they didn't draw the attack there, that would have been great. But again, they are item locked right now. They do get another path, rip. We're hoping that they just don't have a way to find shady dealings. Okay, good. But they actually attack me. But they don't knock me out, which is very important. And they don't get another Jolteon down. So it's fine. So I can KO them here. Which I will do. Okay. 
Let's go Quick Ball. Grab a Vika Volt. Play the Capture. I will... Uh, Low-key don't really want to play the Galar Mine, but I don't think it really matters. I could keep item locking them, obviously, but I think we have to go for the Super Zap Cannon. They didn't do anything last turn either. I could Marnie, but I have boss in hand, right? So we can re-boss Jolteon or something. I can boss a Sobble. So let's just knock him out Super Zap Cannon. I'll hold the hand here. I should probably just keep the basic lighting in case they fan me. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Knock him out. We'll see where this. See if we can. We'll see if we can win from here. It might be tough. We'll see though. Cape is nice. We can actually, you know what? Maybe we should have went Marnie because thinking about it, I actually should have went for Cape there because they can just goon ping me. Okay, they're actually going to kill my Vigavolt here with Galarian Zigzag Goon. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way they're not going to get it. Oh, but they scoop. Oh, never mind. All right. Whatever. I'll take it. Another dub with the deck. Another concede. I think that's like four concedes in this video so far. That's insane. All right. We'll take it. Okay. Looks like we won the coin flip. I don't mind going first and second. I mean, first, let's just get the early attack off. But going second does allow us to try to confuse a uh, a VMAX Pokemon. Because if, if my opponent goes first, they'll have the turn to VMAX. If we go first, they won't have the turn two VMAX because we went first. So we'd be paralyzing bolting them before. So it's not too bad. Unfortunately, though, it looks like our hand has other plans. Got a classic PC Joe Brick. We'll see we're playing against Single Strike. Cool. Put the Beta Marnie here and just Evo Incense a couple times. Not much I can do with this with this bad hand. Single Strike definitely, I mean, they got the Air Shifu, so I don't know if we'll be able to beat it, but we'll we'll try. Item lock might carry us. If my opponent doesn't have like a couple hound hours here, item lock could carry us. Like it could do it could do wonders, but uh we're gonna need some better draws. This hand sucks. There's the Irsh. So if we get Marnied, I mean that's basically what I'm hoping here is we either draw a supporter or get Marnied. Well, if I draw a research, I do lose my other metapod and I will have no butter freeze. But I had to thin the deck out because we're dead drawing. It feels so bad to like do that because if I, if I draw research, I can't play it. They could Marnie me though, which I'm hoping happens. I don't usually yeah, hope to get Marnie, but this is like the one time a Marnie would actually be good. There we go. So now I just got to hope we can find a supporter. I mean, we got quick ball supporters. Be lightning wouldn't be terrible either because it can draw us cards. What are we looking at here? Marnie? Okay, not bad. Good hand actually. Pretty good hand to be honest. Every card is playable. They do get the double hound hour though, which is annoying. I was hoping they wouldn't, but now they have to find the hound doom. And um, assuming we don't draw like a potato, we should get the item lock off. Uh, so scrap Caterpie, Ape, Mine, Research. And we get the energy, just barely though. Get rid of a net. Grab another Vika Volt just in case we need to uh, use Rihon. The Caterpie. No Butterfree. That's fine, though, because I'd rather wait for them to evolve. I, oh, you know what they could do, though? Maybe I shouldn't have benched Vigavolt, actually, because they could Umbreon VMAX the Vigavolt up and trap it for a turn. But I have to draw a Swift. Could happen. Or I draw Bird Keeper. I probably shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have uh, benched the Vigavolt. But at the same time, though, there's a... I mean, they could have, like, a Marnie. Like, realistically, we could get Marnie. Like, I don't know. We have to just find Raihan if they knock me out. There's, like, a chance they can kill me. Even though they're item locked, there's, like, a... There's a chance they could knock out my Vigavolt. I don't know. I'm just not risking it, bro. I ain't risking it. I maybe shouldn't have benched Vigavolt, though, because I could easily just move Caterpie if they bought, if they gusted it. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have benched it so early. I guess, like, they can't really KO me. Umbreon would only be doing, like, 200 damage at most. So I don't know. I Maybe I sh maybe it was... Maybe I didn't need to bench that. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to Marnie hit them here, but I kind of want to research. I don't know. I might try to get Dick for Crowback. Because I do... If they evolve into an Umbreon VMAX, we want to get the Butterfree on the Umbreon and get the Galar Mine in play. And then hope they don't have a follow-up. No, they have a boss. No. See, now I regret mentioned Veek. Do Butterfree. Okay, we'll do Speed Lightning on the active. Get mine. I can go Metapod and Butterfree here, which I guess I'll do. I got my two switches in the deck. And I have Crobat, so we can dig for it. They didn't do anything either last turn, so I imagine they're bricking. So this is probably a good time to... Hit them with a research and then hope to find switch. And if we don't find switch, then uh, we're going to be in trouble. Because I bet you they're holding on to like a quick ball or something to go Crobat. There we go. We got switch. Play this too. We got Raihan, which is good. How many nets am I down? Just two. All right. Well, Paralyzing Bolt. 
a bit early to do the Butterfree, because again, if my opponent gets an army on VMAX, they can get out of it, but they don't get an army on VMAX, then we're good. All right, they do not stay burned, which is fine. They do get knocked out by Poison and Paralyzing Bolt next turn, as long as they don't move. All right, we're in a fine spot right now. Unless they, well, they could boss Butterfree or Caterpie or Umbreon on them. And I don't have a way to move. Oh, they had a research. Let's see what they're holding on to. Okay, a few items. Yeah, the urns are really good discards. They can't even use urn. I, maybe our one win con is to item lock them so hard they can't play urn of vitality. Theoretically, that could work. I mean, we're also hoping they don't keep finding their Tower of Darknesses to bump my stadium. We'll see, though. I don't think they can KO me this turn, right? Yeah. I mean, if they don't evolve this into VMAX, I could even KO with, like, Super Zap Cannon if they keep taking damage from uh, Houndoom. Or I could even Raihan Super Zap Cannon them with, like, a Butterfree to do the extra push to KO the Yershi V. Maybe this is beatable. We'll see. We'll just keep the item lock pressure up here and just hope they're just constantly bricking. Yeah, okay. I KO this. That's good. Maybe top deck here. Level ball. We'll burn that. We got two nets left. Yeah, we should be okay. Play the capture and G. Grab another Vigil Volt, I guess. Whatever. And we'll cape it. And then we'll knock them out. So we will get item lock KO them, but also they will die to the poison damage while they're at it. So that's good. All right, we'll take our prizes. We got energy boss. Energy boss isn't bad. Maybe I could trap Houndoom. I don't know. I mean... They're going to KO me with the Urshi, but I'm hoping they evolve into a VMAX. That's unlikely, but that would be perfect if they did. Because then I could just Butterfree hit them here. This is why the single-strike matchup is kind of hard to beat. Because, like, the single-strike Urshi is so good against my Vika Volt. They don't have to evolve it. But if I try to stop them with the uh, Butterfree, they don't have... They can evolve it anyways out of it. So it's, like, it's hard to beat. A tough matchup for sure. A very tough matchup. I don't think they're going to evolve here. I don't even I don't even really want to break the item lock. Because then they get access to urn again. And they can just clap me with another. They can clap me with another Urshifu. So it's like. Even doing. Even breaking the item lock. I don't know if I like. Hmm. I don't know. Matchup is tough to navigate. I don't know. I could butter free item lock again. Marnie item lock? No, I definitely Rihond. I mean, if we item lock, they might not have the Yersh. If I can Marnie into a... If I can Marnie into scoop up net, and I can item lock them and Butterfree them, because if I item lock, there's a good chance they might not find the VMAX off of my Marnie, but there's also a good chance they do get the VMAX off the Marnie. I kind of... I, th I think we just Rihon. I think it's better just to play it safe from Rihon. And I can... I mean, I could just zap can and knock him out, and then like... Figure out, and I could like maybe boss Crobat for a game at some point. That might just be the way to go. I have a Gallermine prize. No, I don't. Do I just zap knock him out? We'll zap knock him out. It's fine. I don't know. I could just go for the confusion here, but if they just evolve into the V Max, they just beat down, knock me out. Right? Yep. Beat down KOs me for two one uh, two eighty, and knock me out. Beat down. I don't have another Butterfree at the moment either to work with. So I wouldn't be able to really respond if they did that. I feel like just knocking them out here is the way to go. And then we just hope they don't have a way to KO me in return. And if they do, I can boss Crobat if mine sticks. Damn it. This is a tough spot to be in. I don't know what to do. There's a chance they can't find Urshifu though. But they, they have a huge hand. Right? They took two prizes. Their hand is pretty big. Plus they have a top deck. There's a good chance they're going to get the VMAX here. But I guess they can't use their evil wind senses to find it. You know what? We're doing something crazy. We are going to go for the... Um, we're going to go for the Paralyzing Bolt. If I KO, then they get items back. They could go, like, switch Balloon Urn. KO with another Ursh. And I have no way really around that. You know, if I had a Galar Mine in my hand, I could try to trap Crobat for game. So we're going to go for the item lock here and hope it pays off. I don't know. If they have the VMAX, they have the VMAX. They can't play items, so they have no way to find the VMAX with a search card. They have to draw into it either with a supporter or have it in their hand. They didn't do much last turn anyways. They did Crobat, but they didn't play a supporter. They could be stuck, too. Like, their hand could just be clogged with items. Like, ball searching cards, evil wind senses, urn of vitality, battle VIP pass. And if this does pay off, now they could also flip heads and KO me. Yeah, see, they had another. So, if I KO them with Zap Cannon, they probably would have KO'd me in return. And then, if I try to go for the Paralyze Confusion play again, they evolve out of it, beat me. So, like... I think it's better to try to risk and go for this play. And if they don't knock me out, I think we can win the game. They do knock me out, Sayonara. 
We're just hoping they don't have... If they have the VMAX here, like, I'm pretty sure we just lose if they have the VMAX. The only way I'd win is if we had three prizes remaining. This matchup is tough, but it is beatable. We're putting up a pretty damn good fight. We're putting up a very good fight right now. If I can try to boss Crobat for game at some point with, like, either Zap Cannon... You know what I could do? Yeah, no, I can just win. If they don't KO me here, I could just knock him out with Zap Cannon. And then just KO Crobat for game anyways. With boss. Because I'll have this guy with two energy on it, so... Yeah, we should win on that route, too. I have, I have all my bosses left. I have two boss left. Plus, I have Crobat still somewhere in the dark. Yeah, as long as we don't get KO'd here, I think we have a shot of winning the game. They play three baby Urshifus. Okay, yeah, that's a little terrifying when you're playing a lightning deck. But as long as we don't have the VMAX, I don't really care. We're hoping they're bricking. They can't play items. Nothing they can do about it. They can't retreat either because the mine. They could have tower, though, too. But they're already down two energy. They can't play urn. They can't really attack me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If we do get KO'd here, we are going to probably just lose the game, though. Like, we're just basically hoping they don't KO me. If they don't KO me, I think we will be able to win, especially if we keep the boss to KO the Crobat. So. And they don't even... Oh, that, that might just wrap it up then. Right? They got 110 HP. We can just attach. Break the item lock. Knock him out. And as long as we keep our hand, we have game next turn. Right? Because this guy KOs Crobat. I don't know if they see the play or not. We'll see, though. We'll take our prizes. Another boss is good. If they Marnie me here, we still have our Crobat in the deck. How many Quick Balls? We got two Quick Balls plus Crobat. We'll see. We have game next turn, though. They also have to evolve into a VMAX. So if they do Hound Doom again, which they might have to do, they will also die to Zap Cannon. Or I can try to Butterfree Zap Cannon them. So they, not only do they have to evolve the yeah, active, they also have to try to Marnie me and hope I don't draw into the win. Yeah, see, there's Evil Incense. See, my plan actually ended up working last turn. Honestly, though, I'm surprised my opponent didn't flip to attack, though. Oh, no, they couldn't. Right? They can't do the attack twice. Oh. Okay, it was definitely good to item lock. Now, if they boss me here... I mean, they boss me, rip. Well, if they boss me, I can, I can boss this up and item lock it. We'll see. We'll see if they see the... We'll see if they see that I actually have game in hand. They also don't have Umbreon. They're down one boss. A lot of single strike lists don't play too many boss. So I'm curious to see if they see to see that I have a win in hand. We're also they don't have Marnie, but they didn't play one last turn, which I, I feel like they would have played a Marnie last turn if they had a Marnie. And that's game. We did it. We beat a single strike deck with the Vigavolt Butterfree list. There we go. We got him. That should be GG's. I just promote Vigavolt, boss Crobat, take the dub. Here we go. We have done it. We have beaten one of our hardest matchups, but all thanks to a bit of skill and strategy, we got him. And it looks like we would have gone Crobat if we got Martied anyways. So that's good. So they did Marty me there, and I, I would have drawn the Crobat. So I would have had a second chance to find boss. There we go. We did it. We beat him. We beat him. Yeah, they couldn't attack last turn because of the effect of impact blow. But we'll take it. That'll be it for the video, guys, on the Vigable deck, obviously, with those matches. I do have some chests to open up in today's video. Um, but yeah, the Vigable Barter Free deck, pretty cool deck. It reminds me a lot of the old Seismitoad Laser Verbank deck a little bit. Not too bad at all. Obviously, it'll struggle against some decks. Like, Rapid Strike Urshfu, I think, is even worse than Single Strike. Because you saw how to beat Single Strike there. Like, you know, we tried, we played as smart as we could to beat them. Rapid Strike has access to Tower, which is a lot harder to beat. Their Tower of Water easily destroys us. So, Rapid Strike is probably your worst matchup. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty confident with how the deck did today. Overall, yo, we got a Celebi V. I'm actually working on another Celebi V Max video with a pretty spicy inclusion. That makes the deck insanely busted. All right, that'll be it for the big guys on Vigavolt Butterfree. Again, pretty cool deck. Definitely give it a try if you haven't already. Wasn't bad at all. I don't know if I would really make any changes to the list after playing it other than adding a couple of more switching cards. Like, uh, that's all I'd really add to the deck to change it is to add a couple more switch outs because you saw sometimes bossing the Vigavolts can be pretty devastating. So definitely add a few more switches to the deck if you can find room. Honestly, a second Crobat wouldn't be bad either. Um, anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Do the channel. Subscribe down below. I'm in the order of reaching uh, 24k subs. Check out card coming down below. Use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord. Bye-bye.